Okay, so today is the last Saturday without college football because next week we have Miami and Florida in week seven. So today we are doing the SEC standing predictions. Monday we will do the Big Ten predictions. Or no, Sunday will be the Big Ten. Monday will be the ACC. Thir Tuesday will be the Pac-12 and Wednesday will be the Big 12. Thursday, we'll do a little small conference video, like, I don't know, let's go over some small conferences, and then Friday will be Miami versus Florida preview, and then we will have a full game stream for the big game. So, details on that are in my community post, I'll link that in the description, you guys can go check out the schedule, see if I missed anything. But today, we're going to do the standing predictions for the SEC, so without further ado, let's start with the SEC East. So the team that I say comes last in the SEC East is the Vanderbilt Commodores. I say they finish last place in the SEC East, not last in the SEC overall. That's for a special team. We'll get into them later. But today, we are going to talk about Vanderbilt. Okay, get, week one against Georgia is a loss, 0-1. Purdue is a loss, 0-2. LSU is a loss, 0-3. NIU is a win, 1-3. Ole Miss is a win, 2-3. and three. UNLV is a win, 3-3. Three and three. Missouri, I think, will be a loss, 3-4. and four. South Carolina will be a loss, 3-5. and five. Uh, Florida will be a loss, 3-6. and six. Kentucky's a loss, 3-7. and seven. East Tennessee State is a win, 4-7. And, seven. And, Vern and Tennessee will be a loss, 4-8. And, and that's what I think their final prediction will be. I have them going 1-7 in conference. Uh, th uh, three and one out of conference, which is pretty good. I mean, games that are 50 50 that can go either way South Carolina, Kentucky can go either way, Tennessee, Missouri, Ole Miss can go either way. I had them winning in that game, but all right, that's Vanderbilt. Let's go to the next team. Finishing second to last in the SEC East, we have the South Carolina Gamecocks. Now, they have an interesting schedule, and we'll go through that now. The Battle of the Carolinas, South versus North. I say South Carolina beats the Tar Heels in that game. We'll go 1-0. Charleston Southern will be 2-0. So, okay, good start. Now come the good teams. Bama is a loss, 2-1. Missouri is a loss, 2-2. Kentucky is a loss, 2-3. Georgia's a loss, 2-4. Florida's a loss, 2-5. Tennessee is a loss, 2-6. Vanderbilt's a win, 3-6. Appalachian State's a win. Uh, yeah, Appalachian State's a win, 4-6. Texas A&M is a loss, 4-7. And, and I think Clemson will be a loss, 4-8. So they have the same record as Vanderbilt, but I have them beating Vanderbilt in that regular season game, thus making South Carolina ahead of Vanderbilt. So in case you guys were confused... There. They have a very tough schedule. Bama, Georgia, and Clemson. That is pretty tough. Along with Florida. And yeah, I mean, yeah, South Carolina's going to have a rough year this year. Sorry, SEC football tube. Finishing third to last in the SEC East is a team I am unfortunately a fan of. The Tennessee Volunteers. They're going to have it kind of rough this season. And uh, let's go through it. It starts off wonderful with some cupcake out of conference schedule. Georgia State is a win, 1-0. BYU is a win, 2-0. Chattanooga is a win, 3-0. And then it goes downhill. Florida is a loss, 3-1. Georgia is a loss, 3-2. Mississippi State is a loss, 3-3. Bama is a win, ha, just kidding, 3-4. South Carolina is a win, 4-4. UAB is a win, 5-4. Kentucky is a, shut up. Kentucky, I was talking to my friend. Uh, Kentucky is a loss, 5-5. Five and five. Missouri is a loss, 5-6. And, and Vanderbilt will be a win, 6-6. Six and six. So 500 for the Volunteers, I think is fair. A bowl appearance in, let's say, the Tech Slayer Bowl and a win against, oh, uh, Purdue. How about that? So that's what I have. Tennessee finishing. Let's go to the next team. Okay, finishing fourth in the SEC East, I have Kentucky. They have an interesting schedule to where they could win some pretty close games, but then again, they could lose a lot of close games. So, Toledo and Eastern Michigan to start are two wins, so 2-0. and Florida will be a loss, 2-1. and Mississippi State is a loss, 2-2. Two and two. South Carolina is a win, 3-2. and two. Arkansas is a win, 4-2. and two. Georgia is a loss, 4-3. and three. Missouri will be a close game, but I think it'll be a loss, 4-4. Four and four. Tennessee will be a win, 5-4. and four. Vanderbilt will be a win, 6-4. and four. 
UT Martin will be a win, 7-4. and four, And I think Louisville will be a win, making the Kentucky record 8-4. and four. Pretty respectable. We'll say bowl appearance in the, the Gasparilla Bowl, let's say. And I think they will lose to a team like West Virginia or something. They'll, they'll play in a pretty mediocre bowl. But uh, that's what I see for Kentucky. Not really great, but not really bad either. Let's go to the next team. Okay, finishing third in the SEC, I have Missouri. With new quarterback Kelly Bryant, I feel like they can have a very, very strong campaign this year. They have some cupcake out-of-conference teams at the beginning of the year. Their schedule to start is so easy. Look at this. Wyoming is a win, 1-0. West Virginia is an interesting game, and I think it'll be a win, 2-0. Southeast Missouri is a win, 3-0. South Carolina is a win, 4-0. Troy is a win, 5-0. Ole Miss is a win, 6-0. Vanderbilt and Kentucky are both wins, making it 8-0. 8-0 to start the year for Missouri. Then they play Georgia on the road. I think that's definitely a loss, making them 8-1. And, and then I think Florida will also be a loss, making them 8-2. Although I think they could beat Tennessee to make it 9-2. and nine and, two. and then Arkansas will be a definite win. So 10-2 for Missouri. And I'll go on in a limb a very far limb. You know what? Never mind. I was going to say they'll make a New Year's Six, but there's going to be so many good teams making New Year's Six Bowls. I think they'll make like a really good bowl, like the Citrus Bowl or something. I guess a very good bowl to make. And let's say they play like Oregon in the Citrus Bowl or something. I think Missouri, with new quarterback Kelly Bryant, they have a lot of winnable games on their schedule. I'm high on Missouri this year. Finishing in second place in the SEC. East, I have the Florida Gators. I think they have the potential to possibly go 12 and over, but I don't think they will. I think they go 10 and 2. We'll go, we'll go over their two losses in a second. But week one against Miami, the U hoping to break out the turnover chain. I think they do it once, but Florida eventually wins by double digits. I don't like Miami this year. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan. So that's 1 and 0. UT Martin is 2 and 0. Kentucky will make it 3 and 0. Tennessee, 4-0. Towson, definitely 5-0. Auburn is an interesting one at home. I think they can get a win against Auburn at home, 6-0. LSU on the road in Baton Rouge will be a loss, 6-1. South Carolina will be a win, 7-1. In Jacksonville for the Florida-Georgia game, I think that's a loss, 7-2. That's tough for me, but I think Georgia comes out on top. But Vanderbilt, Missouri, and Florida State are wins to end the season. So I have them going 10-2, 6-2 in conference. Uh, same as Missouri, but they will be beating Missouri in the season, making them ahead of them. So, with Florida finishing second... Oh, I think they will make a New Year's Six Bowl. I think they will. I think they make the Cotton Bowl, and the Cotton Bowl is... Or no, the Sugar Bowl. I think they'll make the Sugar Bowl. The Sugar Bowl is Big 12 versus SEC. I think they will play Oklahoma in the Sugar Bowl. And I'm not going to say who I think would win, but that'd be a very good bowl game. So, Florida is second. We all know that. Georgia will win the SEC East, and I think... That they will do it in a special fashion as we can pull up their schedule right now. I forgot to do that. My bad. But their first game is against Vanderbilt. That's a win. Murray State is a win. Arkansas State is a win. So that's 3 0. Notre Dame at Sanford Stadium will be a very good game. And my friend Brian would like to say something about that game. He is a Notre Dame fan. And hey Brian, what do you think about that game? <laughs> he will refuse to talk because he knows they're going to lose. 4-0, I think Georgia wins that game by double digits. Notre Dame fans, come at me. Um, Tennessee is a win. South Carolina is a win. Kentucky is a win. Florida is a win. Missouri, Auburn, Texas A&M, and Georgia Tech will all be wins. I say Georgia goes 12-0, and they will be playing in the SEC championship game. It's a tough schedule, but I think with with I think they can do it. I really think they can. Georgia has a very good team this year, so I have them winning the SEC East and playing in Atlanta for the SEC Championship for the third straight year, that would be. So now let's go on to the SEC West. To recap, the SEC East, Georgia finishes in first, followed by Florida, then Missouri, then Kentucky, then Tennessee, then, no, yeah, then Kentucky, then Tennessee, then South Carolina, and lastly, who do we have finishing last? Vanderbilt. So that's a recap of the SEC East. Now let's go to the SEC West. And finishing last will be... Finishing last in the SEC West, to no one's surprise, is the Arkansas Razorbacks. I mean Arkansas, my bad. Oh, they're going to start undefeated. 
with a win against the biggest cupcake of them all, Portland State. That is the biggest cupcake I've ever seen. So one and zero. I think Ole Miss will be a loss. One and one. Colorado State. I'm going to go out on a limb and say a loss because they lost to North Texas last year. I think the same thing will happen. The guy's going to fake a fair catch and then bring it to the house. One and two. San Jose State will be a win. Two and two. And now this is where it gets, it gets, it gets bad. Um, Texas A&M is a loss. Two and three. Kentucky is a loss. Two and four. Auburn is a loss. Two and five. Bama might be a win. I mean, I might get a girlfriend this year. Two and six. Uh, Mississippi State's a loss. Two and seven. Western Kentucky, when it rains and pours, two and eight. LSU and Missouri will both be losses. Two and ten will be the final record for Arkansas. And I think they're just going to have a bad year like last year. Ole Miss might be just as bad as Arkansas this year. They are not looking good. Um, Memphis, to start the season, I'm going to say loss. Memphis was a very good team last year. I'm going to go with 0-1 right there. Um, I think Arkansas, we already mentioned that Ole Miss will win that game, so that's 1-1. One one. Who is Sela? Oh, Southeast Louisiana. That'll be 2-1. Two Cal will be 2-2. Two two. Bama will be 2-3. Vanderbilt, I think they'll beat Vanderbilt, so 3-3. Three Missouri, 3-4. Texas A&M, 3-5. Auburn, 3-6. New Mexico State will be a win, 4-6. LSU will make it 4-7. And, and I think Mississippi State, I think they'll lose the Egg Bowl. So 4-8 for Ole Miss. Only 2-6 and six in conference. Yeah, they're not looking to have a very good season. So I think they'll be at the bottom of the SEC West. Texas A&M, I think will finish third to last, beating fourth in the SEC West. Um, they have a very, very tough schedule. It doesn't start hard. Texas State should be a win. Clemson on the road, I think will be a loss, so one and one. Lamar, I would hope, should be a win, so that's two and one. Auburn, I think will be a loss, two and two. Arkansas would be a win, three and two. Bama's a loss, three and three. Ole Miss is a win, four and three. Mississippi State is a loss, four and four. Utse, Texas San Antonio, should be a win, five and four. Um, South Carolina should be a win, six and four. Georgia is a loss, seven and four. Or no, Georgia's a loss, six and five. And LSU should be a loss, six and six. So 500 for the Aggies, I think that's fair. We'll say they appear in the. I don't even know what bowl, but yeah, we'll just say that. I think that. Texas A&M will finish six and six. My next team is Mississippi State. Um, did you know that they have never, the last time they won the SEC, Hitler was controlling France. Just a just a quick little fun fact. Um, that may or may not be true. You somebody check that and let me know in the comments. But their first game is against Louisiana Lafayette. That's a win. Southern Missouri is a win. Kansas State is a win. Kentucky is a win. Auburn is a loss. That's four and one. Tennessee's a win, five and one. LSU is a loss, six and two. Texas A&M is a win, seven and two. Arkansas is a win, eight and two. Bama is a loss, eight and three. And then eight. Who's ACU? Oh, Albany and Christian and Ole Miss will be wins. So I think that Mississippi State finishes nine and three. I think they will be a very respectable team and a very good team at that. So that's my prediction for Mississippi State. Finishing third in the SEC is Auburn. Now, they have a very interesting schedule. They start with a game in Arlington against Oregon. And here's where it's going to get a little weird. I think they will lose that game. I'm very high on Oregon. Justin Herbert is a senior. That's a monster we haven't even seen yet. I think Oregon is going to be very good this year. I think they will win. But but then how do you figure that they'll finish third in the in the SEC East? So, I think Tulane is a win, Kent State is a win, Texas A&M is a win, Mississippi State is a win. So, that's 4-1 and one right there. Florida is a loss, 4-2. and two. Arkansas is a win, 5-2. and two. LSU was a loss, 5-3. and three. Ole Miss is a win, 6-3. and three. Um, Georgia is a loss, 7-3. and three. Sanford is a win, 8-3. and three. 
and uh, Bama is a loss, 8-4. and four. So I just realized something. I have Mississippi State finishing ahead of Auburn. So switch Auburn and Mississippi State. Mississippi State will finish third. Auburn will finish fourth. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We all know LSU and Bama will get the top two. But finishing second behind the number one team will be L. SU. I think they finished second in the SEC West. I think they are a very good team. But here's the thing. I always hype up LSU way more than they should be. I always hype LSU up way more than they should be. And then they end up disappointing me almost every single year. But you know what? This year's going to be different. Come on, LSU. Get your, get your act together and maybe win the SEC. Possibly. We'll see. Georgia Southern, Georgia Southern they start the season against. That's a win. So 1-0. Now, here's the thing. Texas will be a loss. I love Texas this, Texas this season. Sam Ellinger is very good at Longhorn Stadium, or I think that's what the stadium's called. That packs 112,000. I think LSU will get a little flustered, and I think they'll lose that game. Um, Northwest State, I think that is. I don't even know who that is. That's a win, 2-1. and one. Vanderbilt, 3-1. and one. Utah State, 4-1. and one. Florida, I think they'll win that game, 5-1. and one. Mississippi State, 6-1. and one. Auburn, 7-1. and one. Although I think they lose to Bama, so 7-2. and two. Ole Miss will make it 8-2. and two. Arkansas, 9-2. and two. And Texas A&M will make LSU finish at 10-2. and two. I think a very respectable finish. I think they will make a New Year's Six Bowl, I believe, that that's reasonable for LSU. And we'll go with the peach bowl i think that's who that i think i think let me make the peach bowl i think that's fair enough for lsu that's my prediction but now what i'm sure you guys have all been waiting for who i think will win the sec west can you guess who i don't think anything else needs to be said alabama will win the sec west I mean, they're going to go 12-0, and 0, but I mean, we could just go over the schedule. Duke's a win. New Mexico State is a win. South Carolina, South Missouri are wins. Ole Miss is a win. Texas A&M is a win. Tennessee, definitely a win. Um, Arkansas, uh, definitely a win. LSU might be tough a little bit, but I think it'll still be a win. Heck, they won 29 nothing at LSU, so Mississippi State's a win. Who is WCU? I'm looking at this. Who is WCU? The West Carolina Catamounts. N- nice opponent, Alabama. You know what? Give me the Catamounts in an upset. Ha, just kidding. And then I think they'll beat Auburn. So 12-0 and for Bama. I think they make the SEC Championship against Georgia. So I think it'll be a rematch. Georgia versus Alabama in the SEC Championship. And my prediction. Of who will win the entire SEC? At the end of the first quarter. Bama 7, Georgia 7. At halftime, Georgia goes up 17 to 7. At the end of the third quarter, 24 to 17, Bama wins 25 to 24 cuz they go for two and win the game. Thank you guys for watching my SEC predictions. We will be doing this for all the other Power 5 conferences. Cannot wait for college football and I'll see you guys later. Peace out everybody. Have a great rest of your day.